Yes. Deuce Mason is getting up close and personal with them this morning, but they're missing something they need names, apparently. Yeah, good morning, guys. Hanging out at the Folsom Zoo. It is pretty awesome to see some of these creatures, some of the new creatures as well. I'm here with Jill at the Folsom Zoo. She's been here since 1987. She's been around, started as a volunteer. They have so many volunteers here, which is really cool. Uh, tell us what we're seeing here. Uh, this is Bindi and Quinn. These are kinkajous, and these guys were both raised as illegal pets, and they came to us from the Washington Park Zoo in Indiana. Oh. Okay, and where, where they come from originally? Uh, South and Central America, so they're not native to this country, <laughs> but unfortunately Indiana. people do um, keep them as illegal pets, which is not good for these guys, and although we're happy to give them a great home, we'd certainly like to see them in the wild where they belong. Okay, now talk about their diets. I see you're feeding them some fruit there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they eat a lot of fruits and vegetables and hard-boiled <laughs> eggs. They eat some primate. This cats. guy likes the camera. What's this guy's name? This one is Quinn. Okay. Quinn's super cute. And, and now, so they eat berries. How many times a day do they eat? They eat twice a day. They eat twice a day, okay. I'd rather have the blueberry. Yeah, I don't, yeah, he's like, I don't, I don't like that raspberry. Give me that blueberry. Okay, how much time do you guys spend prepping some of the food? And I want to go over some of this too. Of course, these animals are awesome, but you, you talk about all the preparation that goes into it. Like, what do I have in my hand here? Who, who have, eats this? Um, this is one of the macaque diets. So we have uh, Kaylee and Wallace. So they have a variety of, uh, Vegetables, primarily small amounts of fruits, occasionally, and then they have some primate chow. They'll get insects, oatmeal, hard-boiled eggs, and then the bears. They get a lot of food. Look at this produce. Uh, who's this for? This is for. Uh... This is for Woody. Okay. He's one of our black bears, so they get a wide variety of fruits and vegetables, meat, nuts, dog kibble, quite a variety every day. All right, what's next over here? What do we have? Uh, over here we have one of our parrot diets. This is for one of our macaws, so they have some parrot pellets, some nuts, fruits, vegetables, and some other little goodies in there. So a lot of work goes into all this, and coming up next hour, we're going to meet the new turkey vultures and your chance to name them, and we'll check out some <clears throat> raccoons in the meantime. Cody. we got to feed these guys. <laughs> Back to you. <clears throat> I don't know. That kinkajou is kind of cute. It was very cute. Come on. <laughs> I'd love to be named, love to have my name in a turkey vulture. Right? Seems it seems a perfect pairing, doesn't perfect it? Perfect pairing. Are you tired of the tradition?